Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to Life on the Ranch. Let's go in and see the animals, give them some breakfast today. Today's Sunday again, so let's get them fed, see how they're doing. Hello, quackheads. Hello, you crazy mother cluckers. Let's get our door shut so it stays closed. And we'll get on to feeding the animals, mixing their food, getting life ready. Let's get you guys set up for the view. We'll be right back. Hello, Frederick. You in here by yourself today? All right, legends, let's get the animal feed mixed up, shall we? Himself is because the hens pick on him. He's not as big as the girls, so he has a hard time holding his own. But he's a beautiful rooster, and we don't want to lose him. put something into our feed because the hens have stopped laying back in December. Not impressed by that at all. But all these hens are less than a year old. They should have all been producing all winter long. We got their lights out there on a timer so it's got light all day long. They're getting their 12-14 hours of light they need. So it's not a lighting issue. why the hens would have stopped laying two, two and a half months ago. Go ahead and drop a comment. If you like seeing the animals get fed, go ahead and sub. We often post animal feeding videos regularly. And if you want to see more animal feeding videos, or just random animal videos, go ahead and make sure you subscribe to it. If you like these kind of videos, hit the thumbs up because we like making them for you. Got dry feed, got dry hay, they need to get water somewhere. This is just an easy way to get water into them without it freezing, so this way I don't need like 60 water heaters for the pens. Unfortunately, my well stopped working recently, so I've got to do this the hard pack way. Drag water down from the house again so I can sort out why the well doesn't work. Maybe you got froze over, or it blew a fuse, or it could have just stopped working altogether. The well is not even a year old. I put it in last summer. Got probably less than 50 hours of total runtime on it. So if it died, it was a dud to begin with. In which case, that's not compressing. Back on. 
we don't keep the door closed, the animals will be under my feet all the time. I won't be able to get nothing done then. First we had our dry hay feed, and then we had our dry animal feed, and then we had our water and mix. The way the dry feeds all get wet, the animal feed gets mixed in with the hay, and everything gets, in theory, an equal share of all of it. Sometimes the hay is super thick, like this rail. So then it really taxes the drill. Pull it up and down and kind of hand mix it, power mix it. And I just kind of clean the drill off in the pig feed. Legends wonder why my feed room floor is such a mess. It's because I had ducks near the last few days. It's been really cold out, like minus 30 at night. Ducks do not fare well in that extreme cold. Let's go set up the food for the animals. The ducks don't like the extreme cold, do you ducks? Recognize the pail though. Are you sure as shoot recognize the pail? Boys, wake up. Breakfast is on its way. Wake up. Come on. Time to get out of bed, boys. Might be overfeeding them if I have to wake them up. How are the turkeys doing, eh? How you doing, turkeys? So you've eaten all your food, have you? All your breakfast, you get the same size for dinner again every night, don't you? Well, how's Wilfred doing? There's 
is Wilfred. How you doing, Willie? Feeling camera shy, Willie? You gonna hide in the corner? Let's go get these ducks a bit of feed, shall we, legends? Hear the girls in there, they're desperate for dinner. Freddy, have you had your dinner yet, Freddy? Have you eaten up today? You all full and fat and happy? Now let's give the duck food a bit of a stir. Oh heck, we'll be right back. Freddy, are you eating the duck food again? You got a whole pan of your own food right there and you're eating the duck food. Try to get it getting mixed up a little bit. Mix it with the water and the grass. That way they feel like they're out there forging when it's way too cold for them to be out there forging. Are you saying you wanted a bit of grass in your food? There you go, Freddy. A bit of grass in your food. Let's go feed the duck heads. Come on, duck heads. These runner ducks can move, can't they? Jeez. Watch where I'm walking, tripping over ice. The duck's back in their pen. It's like above zero out today. It'll be a nice day for the ducks. And there they are, they're all over it. And this girl's even in the dish. She's so excited for breakfast, she's in her dish. Let's go do chickens. Currently reads just above zero in the barn. It's the heat of the animals, the closed off enclosure. As you can see, the chickens are all ready for theirs. I've just ran out of pens, and these are some nice hens, so I put them with my nice rooster boy. You don't get it first. I seem to be missing a hen. Why am I missing a hen? There she is. Apparently she was hiding. Maybe she was hiding under the table or somewhere. I couldn't see her. We got our nice rooster boy. We got three nice hens. Can't wait for breakfast. Give me space to work. I don't know what I did with my tongs, so now I have to use a shovel. Come on, girls. Please work. You can wait till I put it down in 30 seconds. Get some oyster feed, apparently. Right back. There we go, oyster shell for good solid egg production. I don't know why I'm giving it to them because they don't actually produce any eggs anymore. It's kind of disappointing that they don't produce eggs anymore. There you go, ladies, feast. Now let's get some more for the rest of the crew. Everybody else up and down the hall needs it. And find grit to mix with it. Maybe you're tapping in the comments now. You didn't put any grit in there. I need to get the grid on. There it is, Legends. You can see the grits in there. All the chickens get fed all the same stuff. Now we just gotta mix 
it up a bit, so again. Better distribution piles that way. All right, let's go deal with the Insaniac hens. This group in here is all the wild hens. They're very highly aggressive, I don't like them. They're going to visit freezer camp soon. Gotta bang out their food dishes. See what I mean? Can't even wait. They do love to bury their dishes though. No eggs still, eh? What a shock. Then they're all over it because it hit the floor. There's literally nothing in it yet, but they're highly aggressive. Do not get yourself Black Ranger chickens. They are not a fun bird. I've learned the hard way. These Black Rangers are not good. Side, so I can start filling them up one at a time. Anyway, legends, let's try and get you an angle that you can watch the feedings on. Feed the chickens vicariously through me. The reason we use these long ones is that way the hens can get all the way up and down both sides of it. There's no fighting over it. We don't want them fighting each other for the food. We want them all to just be have having a well-fed diet. Fighting chickens turn into dead chickens. Dead chickens don't get freezer camp. I don't want dead chickens until it's time for freezer camp. And they're not dead, they just moved on to the next state of being. Listen closely, you can probably hear whiny complain face down there. Generally about once a day we'll give them the oyster shell and the grit. That's all they needed is once a day at most. This one's decided this is her dinner. Why are you messing my dish up? Can't close it with all these stones in the middle of it. Chickens. She has a whole bowl of food down there on the floor, and she has to be up here in the middle of this one. <sighs> Never understand the mind of a chicken. I'm gonna scoop it all back in for what she's taking off of it on me. Thanks for nothing, Priscilla. Thanks for nothing. That one stall that we're filling the food for now has about 20 highly aggressive hens in it. Ah, catastrophic failure! Well, that's a thing that happened. Camera tried to jump on you, Legends. It was running off for a new angle. Don't know what angle it was after, but it wasn't a good one, I can tell you that. Those stone 
stones. Is that a stone? Looks like a stone. Why is there stone in my hay? I didn't realize hay grew stones. There's another one. This looks like a bean, doesn't it? It's not a stone, it's a turkey poop or a goat poop. How those would have got in there, I really don't understand because we didn't have turkeys or goats anywhere near the field that we harvested this hay from. We didn't even have those animals when we harvested this hay from that field. So how that would have got in there is, well, I have no idea. It's a mystery, I suppose, legends. If any of you legends have any ideas how that could have got in there, go ahead and leave a comment. Love to hear your thoughts on it. And I do read all your comments and I try to respond to them. Because you're a legend and legends are worth having responses to their comments. Plus, I just like to read what kind of silly things you think legends might say, or insightful things, or brilliant bits of wisdom you offer. And those turkeys, I've never seen them not empty their dish. I'm not sure you can overfeed a turkey. If you can, I haven't found their limit yet. I have really not found their limit yet. close the thing up right away so they don't knock it over on me. All right, legends, let's see if we can take you on for the pocket ride while we go feed the insane birds. When I say they're the insane birds, yes, I mean they're literally insane. Again, all over it. And again, those that are left, all over it. Uh, let's see how many of them tried to escape this time. I'm only seeing three hens out here, which is always a good sign. It means the rest of them went back in. That's what we on the ranch call winning. All right, Susan, Priscilla. This is food for the other hens. The Saniac ones. Jimmy, my rooster man. Ducks are doing their breakfast thing. Looks like they've eaten most of the hay this time. It's only taken them three days to get that far. There's Jimmy the rooster. Where'd you ladies bury your dish today? Of course it is, completely buried. That's much of an 